Well, Hannah is definitely not going to impact us, but we just continue to see those records falling for the 2020 Atlantic hurricane season with that being the first hurricane and we're already on an H storm this year. So next is Isaisis. Yeah, that's going to be fun for us to say on the air. Milwaukee right now, it's quiet, it's dry. You're enjoying the heat and some of us actually like that humidity. The winds out of the south at 14 miles per hour. It's 86, the dew points at 68. 88 in Janesville, 86 in Lake Geneva. Sheboygan's checking in at 84, 88 currently in Fond du Lac. But when you factor in those dew points in the 70s and upper 60s, it feels like 96 in Fond du Lac and Janesville, 90 in Waukesha and 92 currently in Watertown. Now the dew points, they're going to stay in that steamy category for Sunday. By Monday, we're dropping down into the 60s. It's going to be the most humid Monday morning. They'll fall down into the lower 60s by Monday afternoon after our cold front pushes through, but much more comfortable for Tuesday and Wednesday. But before we make it there, of course, we're going to have to deal with some showers and thunderstorms. That's what's going to be headed our way for tomorrow afternoon. But right now, the cold front well out to our west. There are a couple of severe thunderstorms just south of the Bismarck area. But for us, we're kind of in between systems right now. No shower or thunderstorm activity for us, that's all back off to our west. So we're going to keep it mostly clear to start out tonight, just like we are right now, and then see those skies becoming a partly cloudy during the overnight hours and future forecasts shows us that we're going to stop it here tomorrow morning at about a quarter after seven. You start to see those clouds pushing in, but a dry start to your Sunday morning. It's not until around one or two o'clock that we start to see those scattered showers and thunderstorms working their way from the northwest towards the southeast, and some of those could potentially briefly pulse up to strong or severe status. So that's going to be something to watch out for as we head towards tomorrow afternoon and evening. But until then, make sure that you're staying safe out in this heat, 92 for tomorrow with the heat index values as high as 100. After the passage of the cold front, we're looking at a partly cloudy, breezy day for Monday with less humid conditions with a high of 82. Lower 80s headed your way for Tuesday and Wednesday and some upper 70s for Thursday and Friday. All right, thanks Alicia. No fans are allowed, but Brewers baseball is back. That sounds good. After losing